At St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, our mission is to restore all things in Christ. We want to form saints and scholars. We want to form the whole person. We made the transition from what you might call a standard school model to a classical model for a number of reasons. It provides a clarity of focus. It makes the objectives of learning very real, very concrete, and also respects the hierarchy of knowledge. It is a form of education that has proven itself to be reliable for centuries. So we can learn from the fundamentals of Western civilization that have animated the arts, the sciences, literature, formed human culture. So it's not just a question of learning simple facts, but learning deeper truths. A parent should choose classical education over the, the standard model that's available because you lose nothing and gain more. You're still getting the basics, the fundamentals, math, science, literature, foreign languages, etc. But there's the extra dimension of developing the mind and spirit on a higher level. My goal as a classical educator is to impart to students a love of learning. This love of learning will serve them not only in school here today or in high school, but in their future vocation, what they're called to be and beyond. One of the questions parents have about classical education is what is the place of science in this kind of enterprise? Empirical science is an outgrowth of the Judeo-Christian culture and the Judeo-Christian worldview. We understand God as good, as a creator whose creation is good, and whose creation reflects something about him. And so the more we know about creation, and we acquire that knowledge through our observation and our measurement, which is what empirical science is, then the more we can know about him and about his quality. So there's no conflict at all. Insofar as various fields of knowledge communicate the truth, they're communicating something about God. My favorite part about being a teacher here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic School is when students are confused about what class we're in. When they say to me, is this really music class? Because today it seems like we're in religion class. I want them to say, yes, this is religion class, this is Latin class, this is math class, it's science class, and it's all happening within the context of music, which pulls all of these subject areas together. It is not our objective to simply view classes in religion as one subject among many. In a Catholic education, in its truest sense, the faith is the integrating principle of everything. For example, in the study of literature, the Catholic faith should help us, no matter what form of literature we're reading, to interpret the various themes that are communicated and the characters we encounter according to a Christian lens. A monster is going to marry your daughter. Great literature is a safe place for us to encounter many of the worst difficulties and struggles of life. I had a moment with one of my fifth graders this morning where one-on-one -on -one I used the literature that we're studying to address some personal struggles. You know, whether it's War and Peace or The Wizard of Oz, we're looking at protagonists who are facing obstacles we also learn from those characters' mistakes. Literature presents us with heroes that are like us, that are flawed, that have weaknesses and shortcomings, and we learn from their errors as well as their successes. Often I think that people underestimate the capacity of children to appreciate beauty. Beauty reveals to the student that they are created in the image and likeness of God. It is an expression of the Creator's love for them, and it draws them closer to Him. Beauty involves order and structure and balance, and hopefully that inspires us to exemplify order and structure and balance in our own lives. At St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, students aren't just a number. Our teachers love and care for every child as an individual nurturing their growth as a whole person, academically, physically, and above all, spiritually. Well, if I were asked, why would I send my child to your school, to St. Elizabeth Ann Seton? I think I would say we want to change his life. We want to work with you, his parents, who are the primary educators of the child. 
to see that he's exposed to what is truly good, what is truly beautiful, and what is authentic, so that he has the means to live a happy life.